season. Today's topic is similar to one I did a little while ago, Requiem for Twinkie. Well, this is Requiem for Golden Guernsey Dairy, out of Wisconsin here, during the great global warming winter of 2013. So, let me give you a little background on it. Golden Guernsey has been a dairy in Wisconsin for 80 years. It was founded in 1930 in the depth of the Depression, and it has flourished through the Depression, through World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Reagan years, the turn of the century, up until now. And suddenly, one day, the lights go out, the doors are locked, and apparently, Golden Guernsey is not their own company anymore. They have been purchased a few years ago by an equity capital firm. This is sort of the business that Mitt Romney was in. So you can see the handiwork of these job creators, funny job creators that they are. There's probably about 100 workers in this place who now have to look for work. There's a rule in Wisconsin, too. If you're going to close a factory, you have to give 60 days notice. And there's rules about severance pay and all that. And they just closed up and disappeared and said, well, we have to guard the assets of the investors. They come first. The labor who put all the inventory into place, the administrators who built the contracts, all them, too bad, huh? So we've had some debates on um, the interwebs about this, and I've included a link below for you to check out the story from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, and you can decide for yourself um, what it was. Because it, it's kind of funny, because the government at first had said, um, well, it was a factory for Dean Foods, and that they were getting like a monopoly power in Wisconsin. So they made Golden Guernsey take it over. Then Golden Guernsey becomes owned by this equity firm, and now they're out. So now Dean is back in the position of being monopoly, or close to monopoly in Wisconsin. So anyway, um, we would say that this is, illustrates the truth about alleged job creators. Simple accounting See, his headcount as expense and overhead, something to be avoided. No amount of tax breaks is going to change that. So we need to see what the debts are that the company supposedly has that is driving him to this bankruptcy protection that they're filing for. Because, I mean, the debts, what are they for? You know, was it equipment? Was it buildings? Was it expansion? Was it futures inventory? Um... Because they had assets, too. I mean, they had the building, they had the land, they had the equipment, they have inventory in stock, and they have contracts. They are major sellers of milk to the schools. I remember as a child drinking the half pints in my lunch, and it's continued to this very day. It's probably been going on for 80 years. So it's not like there's no demand. Some say that milk prices have been driven too low. Maybe so. You know, I like a good deal as much as the next person, but I don't expect the company to go out of business just to give me a good deal. So I think, what's the problem with this raising the prices to what's normal? The farmer gets a fair price for his milk, and Golden Guernsey gets a fair price for packaging and distributing the milk in various forms. If they also had ice cream and cheese, and then you centrifuge the milk into skim milk, 1%, 2% whole milk. You can condense it down into cooking milk. You can powder it and do a lot of other things with it. So I just thought I'd mention that. Um, so some people say it's the state's fault. The state was interfering uh, by forcing Golden Guernsey to, to have this uh, dairy and that they just couldn't make ends meet because of the crushing costs of labor. Well, there's different points of view on that one. So, my view, kind of, is that with these um, 
equity firms that they're kind of like the autoimmune disease of capitalism. They're kind of like they're curling up and consuming themselves. That's what this looks like to me, that it's like a black hole collapsing. And then what's going to happen? What's the goal? What's the end result if this is allowed to continue unfettered? I think you'll have one giant global enterprise that does everything. And it will tolerate false or fox nation states in order to control the people, disarm the people, and impoverish the peasants as well. Um, that's what nation states are kind of good for. And so we just want to keep this in mind. Perhaps we should have some legislation about this. I mean, corporations are provided certain kinds of liability protections. And I think that's maybe too much protections, or if they do have a takeover like this, they need to spell out their exit strategy. If the business fails, how are the payouts and when are the payouts? That way they are obligated and can't just hide behind the bankruptcy or hide behind um, their assets or their status as a corporation. I think this needs to be more carefully communicated. So, comment below, read the article, not necessarily in that order. So, until later, we'll be seeing you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>